So hey guys, I'm just gonna show you some changes here. Um, go ahead and feel free to give your input if I should even have a page like this. Um, but I just went ahead and colorized my photograph. I didn't, it just took me a really long time, but I didn't want to make it super bright. Um, but it took a long time. I'm, I mean, I've taken, I've not taken any classes actually in Photoshop. I've just learned on my own and ended up using the Procreate app and just literally painting, matching the shade, trying to get the color. So it took me hours to colorize this. So it really was, um, drawing and choosing the perfect shade as the photo. So it came out faint because, you know, this is not a super crisp, um, photograph in of itself, although it's, um, a little more crisp than the scandal daguerreotype, you know, that I saw in the Desert book recently, uh, kind of had a little shrine there at the, which is, is frustrating. Um, and so I just do want to apologize to anyone, you know, if this does the project, I'm working with other people, if they do, that there's some big names and if they want to say what they say, my name's going to be out there. Um, and so if I've offended anyone, you know, I'm sorry it might come back, you know, to bite me in the butt, but I just, it definitely have had some health problems, and, um, I definitely snapped two years ago when some people were bugging me about this, like, just suddenly people cared and were asking me questions in 2018, and it, three years ago, I guess, um, but it just didn't feel like people were being very respectful or nice, which was hard, but still, you know, I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of almost impossible not to offend someone, especially when you're this passionate. And if someone's so rude about it, it was hard. I wasn't prepared for that. I've never, um, I'm a shy person. I don't really talk to that many people. I've talked to my friends and they know me and we work things out, but like all these strangers, I've never had strange, so many strangers want to talk to me. I think that's what freaked me out about Instagram, but the Instagram page is, um, back cause I just think it's a good way to update most of my followers were from there and, and I greatly appreciate it a lot. Um, but I also think I was concerned, like, oh, is any of this offensive? Like I was, just, you know, I just, I overthink that sometimes, but anyway, but you know, actually anyone that I, it was really one person that I, I definitely kind of snaps and I'm like, Utah, why are you bugging me? Um, I just, I don't know. It just really, it was weird to me in 2018. It was hard to know what to do, but really to tell you my whole story, I decided I'm going to really go through this website is really like, I don't know how many pages this would be. My old website, it's actually grown in pages because I wanted to focus on Bivens and my vlog. So you can see all of my, um, YouTube videos, any recent ones, which I do need to update. So I did have this video, which here I am back on YouTube, just felt like I should just say everything that's going on and what I know so far. And I'm just hopeful if there we're able to have some next steps and stuff that it, um, I do hope that it's a positive, but I'm also really hopeful that other people who have access to archives and things that I don't in other states, maybe they'll find something and help out if I were able to have something a little bit more um, internationally spoken about. Um, oops. There we go. <laughs> Homepage. I think I'm going to be changing my website soon. But I went ahead and did another super imposition, which I'm actually, I don't like now, but I'm like, but this is everything, you know, and I started out with, like, it, everything besides this outline I take from the man's face from Illinois and put on Joseph Smith's, you know, verified death mask. But I realize when I take the death mask and put that on there, I do see that whole shape, that whole hairline and going up to there. That's huge. And, and you see this whole area that ends right there? This is hair right there. And that is hair. That's thin hair. This is thin hair, but since it's such a blown out picture, it's hard to see how thick and how much, but there's hair right there. 
the hairline is amazing. Um, I think lighting, blowing that out, as I've talked about several times before, and the, the skull that Joseph Lyon, I think, is Joseph's. There's a hole going straight through the head. Um, it might have dislodged the skin of the scalp. Um, and also, if for years, if this was his bad side according to Levi Hancock where maybe they grabbed that part of his head and pulled they pulled him by his hair out of his bed in 1832 with the huge mob of like 12 men that just beat him and almost killed him and his hair didn't grow back and then a church historian scholar told me in 2017 that's why he brushed his hair like this so um so that's that's this video and so then in yellow I'm just highlighting showing okay uh, the chin yeah that's the issue that's the main reason I don't think the scandal kid was him so if you the only difference between the painting and Deseret book and the Gary type of the scandal kid is the chin and he even said that he said he tried to make it look like David Hiram I don't see it really but um you know it it, it showed up in 2017 and that's when I felt spiritually that I should study this and it really has been a very spiritual thing and a positive thing to study this um I think it's really healthy to get into history and especially if you're LDS to get into church history and not be afraid to study things but just get to original stories read the whole thing and and to me you know reading everything has helped my faith um but I'm just going to go ahead and do a few 10 minute videos just talking about that sort of here's an introduction here of what I'm going to do now. And this helps me making these videos actually just helps me. I feel like I'm working with someone and not alone, even though I'm technically working with some other people, they aren't in the United States and they're not even LDS. They're not really like my BFFs or anything. So it's just, um, not someone I can just call up and vent to or just to even really discuss this in depth. It's only been a couple conversations, but I'm still so grateful that I've been able to email and work with some people and get asked a bunch of tough questions, which just helped me to work harder. Just even though, again, I apologize about this. I'm grateful I talked to the church history department and they weren't nice because that made me fight harder. It made me create a website to be like, okay, I'm going to answer all those questions, even though they, are, they don't care. They really don't care about me and they don't care about finding the truth. They're just going to argue about ears and shape of eyebrows of what they think an artist thought his eyebrows looked like. Because I know it matches the death mask. <laughs> um, but here on my website, I'm just going to go through that and just make a few videos. Um, but it was found in 2009. I didn't know about this in 2009. And so the previous owner... In 2009, it was selling it on eBay. And so it just took me until well, 2016 to hear about this. There were a lot of alleged photos before 2016, and it had fizzed out at this point. Other than I didn't know there was going to be resurgence of the scandal to Gary Tate, but the Lord did. Again, I'm just going to full on be blunt and be spiritual about this today. Um, that's why I believe this happened to me. Um, why I've gone through all this and why I felt inspired to study this because I had no connection. I didn't know who owned this. You will see that. And there's such a long footprint of the guy who owned it before me. Of his own ignorance, one, in church history, his own ignorance of some of the strongest points I'm going to point out here in some of these in these videos. I'm going to keep this short. But um, things he didn't know. You know, if you go to the juvenile instructor here, he doesn't talk about Newark. You know, this is all I have, but I did see, you know, he really did believe here in 2009. And they did, no one thought this had any possibility of being a Joseph Smith. No one but me until 2017. And like, let, let's say if the FBI investigated me and him, they would not find a single conversation be or connection between me and what they call crank on eBay. Of course, this is gone because his eBay page is well gone. But I did talk to him. I do have evidence from eBay that I bought it in 2017. And that that is my connection to it. But you'll see on here, all he knew wasn't much. You know, and but the evidence was there, you know, for this to be a fake. It's not. It's not a fake. 
but I was still floored after I'd already studied the death mask. I finally read this and it, it was just was weird. I'm just like, I don't want to read this. Like this, what are they talking about polygamy? I hadn't even, I was scared to study polygamy at this point. If you've watched my other videos, most members of the church are scared of that. I'm not anymore. <laughs> you couldn't shut me up. If you start me talking about that, I would talk about it for three hours and explain spiritual wifery, denounced by us, eternity only ceilings, basically nuns, and that's why you have massive numbers of them in 1842 by Joseph Smith. He's combating prostitution of Nauvoo. And the time and eternity marriages, that, that's a marriage. You can only call time and eternity a marriage. Okay. Eternity only, nuns, um, <laughs> protecting certain wives who have husbands on missions from becoming a spiritual wife, which is a prostitute and someone being passed around because evil men named J.C. Bennett and John C. Higby did a resurgence of that. Anyway, so but this guy, you know, he just... Yeah, he's bad grammar. Does that make him incapable of seeing that a photograph looks like Joseph Smith's sons and all these photos in a photo album say Smith ID photos on it and they're in places that Joseph Smith lived? His sons ended up ended up in Missouri. Okay, before they died. But that's where I'm going to kind of stop this video. This is sort of an introduction of what I'm going to do now. I'm going to keep these at 10 minutes because people don't want to watch past 10 minutes, even though I'm in 11 minutes now. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to dive in some more in my next video.